Welcome to the Rebellion. Symbolized simplest by Yin Yang. The art of this struggle is a consistency you can always count on in life. To know light, you must also know darkness, and vice versa. In order to fully appreciate the splendor life has to offer, strife must be weathered and survived with one thing in mind. No matter what it is you're fighting for, things will always get better as long as you never give up on belief in yourself and the incredible things you are capable of. Yeah, there will be trials, tribulations, and pitfalls seemingly every single step of the way, but all those tough experiences are doing are splashing diamonds and platinum all over those golden moments. Think about it. You don't do a rebel workout because you love the torture of doing push-ups for the entirety of a godforsaken song or four horsemen until you can't stand because you love feeling like a newborn baby giraffe. No. You do it because you love the elation afterward. You do it because conquering something deemed unconquerable by most and then doing it with the group of people who lead with love and battle with you side by side in the trenches is euphoric. You are creating your own tornado of a yin-yang right there in that aerobic room without even thinking about it. The same light is evident in any healthy relationship, and that's what the rebellion is. You are a participant in a thriving tribe of personalities and heartbeats. You are equal parts observer and contributor. Whether the loudest in the room or as timid as a mouse, your ripple effect sails far beyond your wildest dreams. I know because I've spent the last five years witnessing it day in and day out, culminating in what we do being a nationwide spectacle. Remember, you get in what you put in. If you expect the rebellion to do the work for you, it won't. If you expect the rebellion to make you happy, fix all your worries, and provide perfect people, it won't. We are human. We will do things wrong. We will hurt feelings, and we will learn from our mistakes. But so will you. That's what the rebel codes are for. A moral compass when a reminder is needed of your ever-important role in the rebellion and what it is you represent to the fitness family all around you. Remember that you will never get rid of your demons. You merely tame them. You are the circus conductor sticking your head in the lion's mouth, and it's up to you whether the lion bites down or not. When life is spiraling out of control, you always have a tight grip on one thing. The decisions you make and the perspective you take. If it were easy, it wouldn't be special.